Hello. He just caught me having a little bit of Tropicana there. Amazing. 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 Cooking Adventures. Cooking Adventures. Hello. Doing jet cook. No. Gumbo. Which is not jambalaya and there are subtle differences. Some kind of stew thing which turns out a bit more complicated than you think. We're doing it outside. Got all the stuff. Big green eggs going. Probably won't be authentic, but I don't care. Start this by making a roux. There's loads of people that'll tell you different things. Normally you're meant to, in the olden day, that's a cat there. You're meant to thicken it with okra, but I'm gonna go with this and do okra. So it's lard and then flour. And then we gently cook this. This needs about 20 minutes. You've got to cook it until it matches the colour of your skin. So I'm that. And it's got to be that. Um, I suppose it depends on your colour of your skin, but I'm going to give it at least 20 minutes. Back in a bit. <coughs> that took longer than I thought. It is now the colour of my skin. But now you add these things. Apparently it's called the Holy Trinity of Creole, or that other one cooking, Cajun. Um, we chuck these in and kind of fry slash summer in them. Right, let's go. This is getting hot. Right, okra, okra. Normally they use this to thicken it and cook it for ages, but we're doing the roux thing. Apparently the two people are at war. So I'm gonna put half of this in now and half of it later, so there's some smush and some crunch. This is looking okay, actually. Now we're going to add tin tomatoes and water. Some people say do add tomatoes and some people say don't, but it doesn't really matter. Tomatoes. Gumbo. Smoky sausage goes in. Okay, going to put some of this in. It's kelp. You're meant to have kind of shellfish and clams and all that kind of stuff in here, but you can't find that in the City of Dreams. Dried kelp for that kind of fishy vibe. What's going on? Yeah. And leave for about an hour until it all turns into the 1920s. Internet! Put some bay leaves in it because there's a bay leaf tree there. For the last half an hour or so, I'm gonna stick a load more stuff in, then there's some crunch and there's some goo. And it's got a nice stodge to it. Last 15 minutes, I've added some New Orleans stuff. Like tamarind and garlic and stuff like that. No, not really, I just bought some of this. So we've formaled up. <laughs> and we've got some white ports. Don't think the hair gel worked well in there. There's so what much. What did you use? Some fab lotion. So fucking Riviera. I think I suit this. I think this looks okay. Right, I'm an alcoholic smoker now. My work here is done. <laughs> Your work is done. <laughs> okay, gang. This is nearly ready. Just put some asparagus bits in there. We are ready to go. And it's tablecloth with cornbread. <laughs> Quite easy to make. I haven't got anything to wipe your plate edge with. That wasn't an innuendo. Oh, have I let you down? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure something will occur. It's decided that you're the best bet. Right. Have a little bread dunk to start. Oh my god. That is nice. It is something different from the flavour that I'd normally do. Yeah. This is nice, which is worrying. This is actually this is really nice. I had something more profound to say, but it's gone. <laughs> it's table again. Oh, you saw my down bits there. Okay, that was nice. Um, right, it's bedtime. Right, so thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I know there's lots of people commenting now and lots of people getting involved. I really do appreciate it. You're all really lovely. Uh, you can see my mustard there. Um, I thought there was a ghost at the window. Right, I'm gonna go and lie in bed. Love all of you. Bye to all of you. And though. I'm not quite sure why there's so much mess in the house and it all went down last night outside. Let's fizzy pill this up.